Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical with thecupofdeath.com bringing you guys a tutorial on how to live stream using XSplit onto YouTube. Okay, so you must be a YouTube partner in order to get this feature unlocked, but if you're logged into your account, as you can see I am here, and you go to your video manager, you will see here live events. And it says there are currently no upcoming events. So you can schedule a new event, and it will ask you for your basic info and I'm gonna make this private just for now just so it don't appear in a thing and we can title it live streaming with me okay description blah 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 tags sup and start you can put the start time you know your end time you know how long it's gonna be etc cetera, etc cetera. the county and the time zone or the country and the time zone that you're gonna set it as and all that stuff and you have your advanced settings which you can change none of this really matters for the live stream um, and whether you want to monetize this or not with ads you can check that and then you will go to create event once you do it it'll give you your settings that you want to use you have your main camera um, you can upload a large dim as possible so just a 1280 by 720 this will be the preview image when your event is embedded on other sites so you can select that and you can select basic Okay, so you're going to click on basic ingestion 720p. You can do 1080p if you'd like, 480p, whatever you'd like to do it as. Okay, we're going to go with 720p since it's the most thing. It's going to say select your encoder. You can select Wirecast um, if you're using Wirecast, Flash Media. Obviously, if you're watching this tutorial, you're probably using XSplit. So you want to go to other encoders. It's going to give you this information which you need for your stream. Okay, so now if we go over to XSplit and we go to Broadcast, you should have a YouTube one set up. If you don't, um, what you need to do is add a channel and you need to add Custom RTMP. If that doesn't appear in your list for Add Channel, you'll need to go to More, which is the plugin store, and you'll need to install the Custom RTP, which if you click on it, there'll be an Install button here. You can install that and then be able to do it. So once you have it installed, you can click here on the gear icon, which will give you a thing. You can name it. Of course, I named mine YouTube. And then this is the information here that you need to enter into here. So you need to enter the RTMP URL, which just pretty much always stays the same. I've not seen them change it yet, although they could. So you'd always want to double check that for the primary server. And then your stream name. Unfortunately, this changes every time you create a new event. So you'll need to go into your broadcast and your gear icon, your settings um, for your channel properties every single time before you start live streaming on YouTube and update this stream name which whichever one they give you here. <coughs> okay, so you copy that, paste it in here for your, um, and then for your video encoding and stuff you select x2.264 bitrate 3000 we're gonna go ahead and use for 720p at a constant bitrate um, again, there is a video that shows all of these settings for the best settings to use for YouTube, but I'm just going to go over them quickly one more time. Uh, you can apply strict um, constant bit rate, which just makes sure that it stays consistent. A max keyframe interval of two seconds. The encoder preset, this is determined on the processor you're using. The default is very fast. You can go up as high as you want depending on what your processor can handle. And your buffer, you want it set it as the same as your bit rate, which is 3000. For the audio, I use AACLCHQ. For the bitrate, I use 192. For the format, 44.1 kilohertz stereo. You can select whether you want to automatically save your recordings on your hard drive, your local hard drive. Um, I don't do that. And then you can also interleave the audio and video into one RTMP channel, which I do. So you hit OK, and then you're all set to go. All you need to do is, you know, you can set up a shortcut if you want so that you can uh, control shift and Y to start it is what I use um, under your uh, general settings and hotkeys you can set that all up <clears throat> or you can just click on it here under broadcast and it'll start streaming uh, to the YouTube thing so we're gonna go ahead and just for now click that so that you can see what happens so we are going ahead and start encoding um, and then if we go to live control room oops one second guys actually we're gonna end that broadcast and as I just said, every single time that you broadcast to YouTube, you must change this stream name. So, let me go ahead and do that real quick. And hit OK. 
Okay, and then you will start to stream. It'll say stream in. Then you want to click on live control room. And it'll have all this stuff here. You, you got to click on, it tells you your stream status down here. Good, 720p, the health is good. You actually click preview. It'll ask if you want to, if you're using Chrome, hit OK. And it takes a moment while it says it's preparing your live stream preview. And once it actually is done preparing the preview, you'll be able to actually click on the start streaming button, uh, which will allow, which will actually send you live. So even though you hit the preview, you are not actually streaming to YouTube yet. You have to wait for this to pop up. When it turns the dark blue, you can click on start streaming. Okay. To start live event. And then you're live. And then you have the public view down here and all your comments. When people make comments that you can leave open to see that. Um, and everything's good to go and it tells you the time you're in and you are streaming to YouTube again You must be a YouTube partner to have this feature um, You know it gives you little notifications You may want to visit your channel if there's a problem with your stream It'll tell you in this box It'll totally tell you your total view time hours your peak concurrent how many people you have at once there all that information Which is really nice and that is how you do it using XSplit. All right guys until later. We'll see you in the game